and we're back. You're watching Sports Federation TV. I'm Lenyuk Thachetti from the world of badminton. Joining me now is, to, is an athlete and an administrator, Tessa Noon and Julie Brammer Christensen. They're here to share news with us about an upcoming international event that will be held in Belha. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, uh, to start off, badminton is one of those racket sports. Yeah. How do you distinguish it? from the other racket sports that are more commonly known? Well, I think it's um, played with a shuttlecock rather than a ball, um, with feathers, and um, so. And then you, it's not like squash where you hit it against the wall, you play with a net as in tennis, uh, and that is basically the difference. And okay. the court, of course, is a lot smaller than the uh, tennis court. All right, well, Tessa, you, and um, we've got this amazing tournament happening this weekend, and that's why you're here. Mm. Do you want to do you want to tell us about that? Yes, it's a it's a international um, inter under 19 tournament. It's been held at Belhar um, um, Sports Center, and it runs from Saturday the uh, 15th to Saturday the 22nd. Um, the finals been semi-finals been on Tuesday, and the finals been on Wednesday, uh, starting at 7:30 both nights. Who will be involved? Where will the participants be from? They're from all the provinces. We have 16 teams entered uh, in three sections in the interprovincial, with six, five, and five in the t in the sections. And um, yeah, you got your top under 19 players that will be playing in Cape Town. Wow, Julie, you're a guest. Yeah. Uh, in the country now and you're yes. here especially for badminton. I am. Will you tell us your story? Yes, um, uh, Cape Town here and DDI in Denmark, they have a partnership. So we're, they are sending some coaches uh, down here from Denmark and to, for trying to help them uh, coaching all the, the young players. Ah. So I'm one of the coaches who is here for seven weeks and then helping uh, the players preparing for the on the United Teams tournament. Okay, so I'm sure back home for you, they were like, who wants to go to Cape Town? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. you were the lucky one. Yes. Well, uh, that's that's amazing um, that you have this relationship, a close relationship, mm. I would say, with the, the Denmark federations. Mm. Um, how does How is that relationship um, now contributing, besides with the coaching, for your players? Well, it's, it's, it's just that it improves our, our playing skills. Uh, having different coaches come into the country, um, it's a different, some are, it's technical, more than some are fitness, but it's different ways of coaching. So we're learning new things about how to coach all the time. Mm. So Julie, you're a, you're a coach now. Yes. Um, are you still competing in the sport? I'm still playing a little bit, yeah. I was playing a lot when I was younger, but then I stopped playing a bit and become a coach instead. Mm. Yeah. What do you think attracts one to the sport of badminton? What attracts me? Yeah. Yes, I, I played since I was six years old and all in my family was playing badminton. So then I just start playing also and I've just played it since. Since? Yes. And with the, with the, with the Western Cape players, are you seeing a growth in numbers over the years? Um, we're pretty static at the moment. We do go out to the schools and we've tried going out into uh, different areas, but it's, it's very difficult. It's quite an expensive sport and also for transporting kids to the hall mm. from the various areas. Um, we do get funding from the council who, the, who will supply um, taxis for us to bring them, but there's only a certain amount per annum. And after that, then they can't get to the wall. So it's very difficult. We've got a big crowd of kids in Ocean View, and we've got a good crowd in Guggleto as well, mm. which do, it does help. And we've got people from both those clubs in the uh, B and the C teams, and uh, A, B, and C teams of the under 19s. How are you overcoming these challenges, though, these logistical issues that you've mentioned? It's very, very difficult. Um, it's because badminton is an expensive sport as well. Um, the shuttlecocks are very expensive. You're paying about 350 rand for a tube of 10 shuttles. So it's 35 rand a shuttle. You can hit it once and it's finished. So it's, it's, it is an expensive sport. 
but also it's difficult. Some of the players from the club, there is a coach, um, Francois Vessels in Ocean View. He does bring the kids when he's able to. He coaches them in Ocean View, they're at the community hall in Ocean View. And likewise with Guguletu as well. If, if the, um, Ray, who also organizes the coach at badminton there, he also tries to bring them into the hall as often as possible. Mm. But it, 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 is, it is difficult. Okay, so it's uh, basically the members in the federation that are that are carrying you that's logistically right, at the right, moment. Yes, yes. For the love of the sport. That's it. Yes. Okay. Because yeah. that's the only way the sport is going to grow. All right, Julie. I mean, it's uh, it's quite generous um, that Denmark would have sent you here to to come and assist with the development of the sport. Is the Cape Town League of um, special importance to them, or do you have similar programs throughout the world? Oh, it's a special uh, they have here. Uh, yeah, the partnership here is special mm -hmm. with them. We also have some partnerships around the world, but yeah. The Cape Town League is special. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you'll be here for seven weeks. Yes. What, is, uh, what would be some of the program then specifically for you in terms of the coaching? Uh, I have a practice Friday and Saturday for, for the kids that I have. And then I was just helping them, I, coaching here for the tournament. For the tournament specifically? Yeah. So it's tournament preparation? Mm, basically, yes. And oh. this week as well, we had special coaching Tuesday and Wednesday. Today is rest, today and tomorrow are rest days uh, before the tournament actually starts. Yeah. Well, I'm sure um, this international event that you're having in Belha is going to cast a huge spotlight on your sport and perhaps help with the increasing the interest in Most it as well. I certainly hope so, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so what age groups are you seeing participating in the sport? Well, we start from, our competition starts from under 11s. Right. Under 11 right through to under 19 and then you go into the senior part of the sport. Okay. All right, great. Well, um, after the break, one of your, your sporting peers are also here and uh, they'll be joining us to give us the athlete's perspective on all of this amazing activities. Okay, uh, don't go anywhere because after the break, an athlete from the sport of badminton will be joining us.